We got a hot, juicy, spicy pod today. Mm -hmm. Lauren's mm -hmm. getting naked, mm -hmm. showing off her new bod. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. Visit betterhelp.com slash WT9 today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash WT9. Welcome back to Wild Till Nine. Whee! I'm your host, Daily Bear. And I am your co-host, Moosey Bear. <laughs> Oh, hi, Diggy. hi, Diggy. When I tell you, Diggler, that there are so many people in this world that are now not only aware of you, but in mm -hmm. love of, with you. Mm -hmm. um, it's just us. So don't give your attention to anybody else. Right. Exactly. Exactly. But, but you also, do and, have many adoring but also friends else. now. I know. People were trying to come up with the ship name um, for Diggy Deuce. and Moose. I don't Miggy? know. Miggy or there I mean, was- Let's be clear. His name's after a porn star. Someone said uh, Magoose. So. <laughs> Mag Hang on. There was there were some other Magoose? options. Magoose. Well, while you're looking this up, stop, drop, roll, rate the pod. Welcome back. Hope you had a great week. I have slept more in the past week than I have in years. Shut up. What? I have barely slept. I have been so stressed over our We're talking about home. me, Lauren. I have slept more than I have in years. Found it. Miggy, Deuce, Degoose, Moogie. Moogie? Moogie. Fired. Um, listen, you know, I, I will say, you know, I didn't live in the world where, you know, although I grew up in a little bit of the participation trophy award, mm -hmm. what was the last, what was it again? I can't even remember it. Magoose? Miggy? Miggy? Which one? M Mag MacGyver? We had- Miggity um, Wiggity? Miggy, Miggity Wiggity. Uh, we had Miggy, Deuce, Da Goose, or Moogie. I think Miggy. Miggy? Miggy. Miggy? Miggy? That's, I'll take it for now. Yeah. You know how we do with nicknames. It's like, it starts out as Miggy. And, and then one of us will have, yes, one of us uh -huh. will be like, hey, where's Meow? And, and we're like, like, yeah. And then Meow is now the, the, the nickname. <laughs> I'm like, how do we get the schnoog and spoob? I don't know. Not sure. Not sure, but here we are. With, with the word schnoog and spoob, I can only imagine one of us said something stupid and then it caught on. And our captioner has been miserable ever since. Not our problem. You're welcome for the job security. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, at any point in time, YouTube... Auto, whatever the fuck. Captions. Can properly. Out. Pace. Yeah. And I got to be honest, my bar is pretty high, given that Donna is a stenographer. Stenographer. Yeah. Yes. And there are like a total of three stenographer adjacent yeah. watchers on this show. Right. I don't know what the fucking stats are, the chances are of that. But. I feel like people who are stenographer adjacent, they'll get really excited when they see any kind of or hear any kind of stenographer um, uh, representation. Stenographer representation. I do. Old, Even just like knowing old, a stenographer. The I'm steno like, rep. there's Donna. Oh, no, every, like we're watching a show. Every, every time there's like a, a court. And I love that they all like. They all show it. Yeah. Yeah, no, they do. And I, I never would have noticed it pre-knowing what Donna's career is. We got a hot, juicy, spicy pod today. Mm -hmm. Lauren's mm -hmm. getting naked. Mm -hmm. Showing off her new bod. Mm -hmm. And that's just going to be for clicks. And we're going to hope it works. Go ahead. I also want to be very clear. When you said new bot, I was like, I didn't get anything done. There's no surgery. I'm no sorry. Have you seen your butt fillers. lately? Are you kidding? I don't know. Okay. Tangent. I just, I just want to also go flashback. I'm complimenting back. you. I'm no, no, complimenting you. I want to say that I said 2022 Three, two, year one. of the gone. thicky dumpy. Compliments gone. Did I not say that? Compliments gone. My new year's resolution at the beginning of this year was year of the thicky dumpy. Okay. <laughs> I was complimenting your ass. Can I get back to it? Yeah, I was just setting you up to properly preface well, the sticky like, dumpy. Compliments don't actually need to be set up. They they're actually best best suited to be. Okay, say nice things about me. Go ahead. Um, so the last I don't know, sometime between uh, now and four years, I feel like I've just noticed that my girlfriend's getting hotter, and not just than me, but just than her. So it's like I don't know how. Moose, come here. So hot that Moose, Moose just left Moose, me. Moose, if you Moose, have two Moose, bull terriers Moose, and I have Moose, no bull terriers. Please. It's gonna be just Moose, it's gonna be come just come chaos here. if you have Moose, two dogs around your side. Moose, <laughs> Moose, come here. Just jump, you little schmuck. Come here. You're so fucking cute. I just want to eat you. You're a cupcake. Come on. <laughs> okay, I give up. Um anyway, so I, I don't know if like if anyone can relate with this, but like I'm not kidding. Lauren will just walk around in not even a thong in things. And I'm just like, she looks great. That's so nice. But like, you know how like you like, you get used to seeing people. Yeah. I'm like not used to seeing just how good you look always. That's the nicest thing you've ever said. 
The next thing I ever did though, well, I can't, we can, oh, I can't talk about that. <laughs> no, but you know what? You know what I think though, is that my body I think was really great when we met and then it really took a nosedive cause we got super comfortable really quickly. And then COVID happened. We were drinking every single night and eating like shit every single night. And then, you know, like, I feel like at the six month mark, when we realized that like, we were not going back into the world anytime soon. We just continued to drink and eat like right, shit. Right. And then things really took a nosedive. And then it's, it's been, it's been a slow, a been a slow trek. Back and to then Mia back became a gym rat and you joined. Exactly. And now we're here. And now we're here. Uh, and what did you do today for the very first time? I went to the gym. <laughs> stop, stop, everyone stop, stop. Yeah, so um, I'll have a six pack by tomorrow. And if I don't, I'm quitting. Um, so what did you do? Tell us about the experience. How was it? Well, um, Equinox is great. Quite nice. Yeah. Yes. And yes. I went later than I typically would. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that people are a little more, Lax. I don't like to, so I don't like to talk at the gym. Yeah. I don't even like, if if I could pay more so that I knew no one at the gym. No, we do pay more for people to not if talk. If I could pay even Equinox. more. Oh, I see. For to like to not know. Well, the problem is at Equinox where we live, it's like, mm, yeah, you're gonna run dude, people. how yeah. you been? What's yeah. going on? It's like, it's a high school locker room at some point. But it becomes like that no matter where you go, if you go often, because then you have like no, regular so you see every day. No, I look real standoffish, mm. real bitchy. I don't care if I've got some, I, whether I have a podcast or music <sighs> on or not, I've yeah. got headphones on. Mm. I have the look of, I do not have any reason mm. or need to talk to you. I think I look approachable. Yeah, well. I still wear headphones though. And people people are still, about, anyways, anyways, I went this morning with Maggie and we went at 7.30 and it was packed. So before you cut me off, so I did have a good workout. Um, I took it a little light, mm -hmm. um, but it was good. Yeah, Moose, Moose says, good for you, dad. Moose is like, bullshit, I saw you. <laughs> uh, yeah. One squat later. I'll be able to go back just fine tomorrow and it'll be great. Are we gonna go together tomorrow? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh my God, fuck so me. Maybe we used to be a gym couple together. I know we used to, but then that didn't really work. And, uh, but it was like Hollywood too. Yeah, it was no Hollywood is hard. Yeah. Maybe, what time you go tomorrow? Um, I don't know. Probably <laughs> earlier than you want to go, to be yeah, honest. To be determined. Then. Yeah. Oh, Diggly Bear. So um, we've got a hot pot today. Got a hot pot it's today. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. um, mostly because people, what was the um, the game forever ago uh, when we were in high school where you could just like say stuff to people all the time and it was like We anonymous? were just trying to remember the- um, Was it like Form Spring or yeah, like what? Ask yeah, FM? Yeah. Ask FM was one of them where you could just like, people could anonymously just make a comment about you or a question. Well, this is like a thing on Tumblr as well, right? You could just like give well, okay, random. Well, so Tumblr, you could have people anonymous, anonymously ask a question or you could force them to do it publicly um, and it would like show their name or whatever. Um, but there was a certain website that was specifically for this and I it, it's blanking what the um what the thing was. So anyways, there is this new app called um, NGL, not gonna lie. And it's like, I don't know if it's like, I'm sure Instagram owns it because it's like very compatible and you post it through Instagram. Anyways, it is an anonymous way to ask questions or make comments or just say wildly mean things that probably hurt my feelings more than they should have when I was going through them to find questions, but it's okay. Nothing can be meaner than TikTok comments. It's fine. That's that's true. true. But sometimes TikTok comments are funny. No, no, the problem is that TikTok comments that are mean yeah. carry a little bit too much truth to them. It's the, like- Carry a little too much truth go, and also oh, sometimes- are hilarious. No, yeah, well like hilarious things are typically a little bit true always. That's true. Even yeah, that's if it's a joke, true. it's yeah. like, well, that's not not a lie. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh God, fucking diggy. Um, yeah, so it's it's been one fucking hell of a week. We're gonna have a lighthearted pod because the week has been a little stressful, mostly because diggy after being here a week, I think we just crossed the $3,000 mark. Yes, we did 100%. So um, at least. 100%, we knew we 100% crossed the 3,000. So long story short, um, Diggy woke up in pain and was very lethargic. And uh, again, long story short, we went from having pancreatitis to having a fractured vertebrae in the neck, specifically C2, to then having- C3. C2. C2 and th between C2 and C3 or just C2? C2, just C2. Got it, fuck me. <laughs> yep. I've spent so many hours in uh -huh. vet parking lots. Got it. And on the phones with different vets. Uh, so a fractured C2 vertebrae. And then we went to a- um, uh, a C2 vertebrae that was in the process of healing from an injury that was maybe about a month ago. But have been recently re-injured. But recently re-injured or just re-agitated maybe between Moose and Diggy playing. Um, found out that he's got mild um, mild arthritis in the back legs, which is fine. Major gingivitis. Con confirmed by definitely major gingivitis and gum disease. <laughs> Um, that one's also, stuck. also, uh, we, uh, 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 a little bit of a deformed curvature of the spine, a little, um, bit, of, little bit of pup scoliosis. One might call it one of a kind, unique, 
um, specific to him um, only. And then uh, uh, a small two centimeter uh, blockage in the small intestine, an obstruction. Oh my God. And I gotta be honest. Harden you, intestines. Well, here's the deal. The, 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 the spoiler alert is he's fine. None of those things actually happened. <laughs> He's literally fine. No, none, no, none no, of those no. are Robin. All of those <laughs> things did happen and were confirmed diagnoses at some point, which then progressed into other things. So today, but, Diggy and I were at a specialty hospital and it is confirmed that he just had an upset tummy. What? <laughs> I know, but also I'm like, oh my God, Diggy is 100% my son because it's like, do I go into a health crisis spiral when I have an upset tummy? Yes. So three thousand dollars to diagnose an upset tummy, and he does no, not okay. have. But here, here is like here's the reality of all of those like scary things that I learned so much about. So bull terriers specifically, the top part of their C two vertebrae, just like bull terrier specific, just has a fracture in it. It just like never is attached. You know how they like kind of look deformed. He just doesn't have the top part of his C2 attached. It just kind of floats around. See this so unique <laughs> shape here? Yeah, so that's- um, Our little egg. This comes naturally. Yeah, this comes naturally. We need more snoot bomb for him. I know we do need a little more snoot bomb. Who get the rough snoot? So the C2 comes a little bit fractured and also the bull terrier <laughs> breed as well too, also comes with the curvature of the spine that is also standard in the bull terrier. Um, and he's seven, so a little bit of arthritis is totally normal. I when, by the time I'm seven. He might have inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, but we are TBD on IBD. <laughs> Tune in next week for whatever <laughs> else, new acronym we've learned. The other oh three, we have God. to actually, we're gonna have uh, everyone, I hope you don't mind, there's gonna be 11 ads on this podcast so that we can pay for our son. Oh my God, seriously. I have, I'm not kidding. I have not done, I have answered maybe one email and done no work over the past three days because it has been, it has been a diggy health week. Well, and today was the finale, so yeah, thank like, God. I'll take uh, expensive, laborious, uh, unnecessary, blah, 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 to, to wind up at, he's okay, versus oh my God. we didn't do anything and- And now it's to something is too late and it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so I think that I manifested this by accident because not just a week ago, I said something because I'm such a hypochondriac and what? obviously we don't know Diggy's health history. And so- We do now. That we do now. I was like, oh my God. How can I, I can. how can anyone, again, I know that audio listeners, we sent you over to the video last week and this is another week where, where you have to just go again. Yeah, I like Maybe that. it needs a double listen, I don't know. You do what you gotta until do. We're but on, until we have video on Spotify, it, you're gonna have to come. Sorry. Yeah, oh my God. Before you book any brunch, you pour over lists and lists of reviews. So why not do the same when you're booking a doctor's appointment? With ZocDoc, you can see real, verified patient reviews to help find the right doctor in your network and in your neighborhood. After all, finding the right doctor is just as, if not more important than finding the right plate of eggs Benedict. ZocDoc is a free app that shows you doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance and are available when you need them. On ZocDoc, you can find every specialist under the sun, whether you're trying to straighten those teeth, fix an achy back, get that mole checked out or anything else, ZocDoc has you covered. Finding the right doctor is huge when you need it. I'm not the biggest fan of going into doctor's offices because of experiences I've had in the past, but ZocDoc has changed the game. Find and review local doctors, read verified patient reviews from real people who made the real appointments. Now, when you walk into the doctor's office, you're set to see someone in your network who gets you. Go to ZocDoc.com, find the doctor that is right for you, book an appointment in person or remotely that works for your schedule. Go to ZocDoc.com slash wild and download the ZocDoc app for free. And then start your search for a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z O C D O C dot com slash wild. ZocDoc.com slash wild. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Have you ever had one of those weeks where everything is going wrong? It seems like nothing is working in your favor. And instead of going into problem solving mode, you are in problem focus mode. I, I had problem mode this past week. You my, were laser my, focused on problems. My week was just problems. And it's hard for my brain sometimes to find solutions to problems that can easily be fixed. It can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. Again, my past week was just challenges. But when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. A therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals no matter how big or small. 
I love BetterHelp because they are committed to finding a therapist that's right for you. Get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists at any time. So if you aren't feeling it with one therapist, you can just change to another one. It's kind of like dating. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com WT9 today to get 10% off your first month. That's better h e l p dot com slash w t nine. So, like, there was a small part of me, very unrealistic, and I was being so extra. Well, where I was like, I wish that we could just run every test on Diggy, and so that we'd have like a full snapshot of exactly I do a voluntary MRI. <laughs> I, no, literally, like, and obviously it's like, so ma'am, unrealistic. No, no one ma'am, ordered no this. No one ordered this. Heck. Like, you can't just ask for an MRI. <laughs> but I just like, I'm such a hypochondriac that I was like, I wish that we could just have like a full screenshot of everything in Diggy's body. So we bought a dog MRI machine. It'll be here next week. <laughs> a CT scanner. It'll, it'll and then we also million have dollars. The, Oh my God, I think you're getting both dogs. No, he's just sniffing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think that I might have manifested getting all of these tests done because we had two ultrasounds, um, some x-rays, and then he was supposed to have an MRI today, but we didn't end up needing that. And here we are happy, healthy, and booping snoots with his brother. <laughs> and now onto the spice. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so this new app or whatever, I, this sounds like an ad for it, but yeah. basically you can submit questions, comments, statements anonymously. And so it really gives people the opportunity to say the things that they've been um, holding back from saying. Did I immediately regret posting this the moment that I hit post? Yes, but uh, here we are anyways. I'm just upset we didn't from the Wild to Nine account or mine. So we'll be doing another round of this at some point. Cause okay. I'm gonna find the time. Oh, no, no, no. I, I I urge you to find the time because these were, some of them were a little too specifically mean towards me. <laughs> Got it. And um, I would, I literally can't focus staring at this dog's face. Our sex life hasn't been great since he got here, but everything else has been wonderful. Uh, we haven't done anything. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Yeah, I got a high five the other day and I was like, woo. Oh, ew. Yeah. Yeah. Remember play. those comments I made earlier about how good Lauren looked? That's just because she took her clothes off because they all got puked on or peed on or whatever else to then change <laughs> to something else. Super hot. Uh, Where should we start? I mean, I'm just, I screenshotted a bunch of them. There's, um, there's not necessarily like a... Um, an order here. So there's a few really, really nice ones. So this is really cheesy, but we'll just start it off nice. Yeah. I just want to say, I love you guys and you both make my day better and I love how you bounce off each other. Oh, wait. Oh, this started off really nice, but then I decided that I actually don't really like the question. Um, would you ever continue or would you ever consider making YouTube videos together? Well, this counts. This is a YouTube video. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really peaked the dog's ears there. Also audio podcast. So sorry. So sorry. <laughs> um, so one, and then there's no name, that's, no, that's, no return address. That's the, we can't get back to them? that's the shit. How will they ever know what we say? Well, here we are. Guess you'll have to watch the pod. Um, so Diggy, figure it out, my son. There you go. Um, very good. Do you, have, you want to answer that? No, go ahead. I, so this is a me thing. It's not a you thing. Not that you'd want to make videos. No, but no, if you it's asked, also a me thing. It okay, is but very much a me thing. But if you well asked. Too. Yeah. I would say no. Right. And you know that. I just, it's funny because every once in a while, not only like, this is great, just stay right there. Um, every once in a while, like I'll even get like a random, because I do this podcast or whatever, I'll get like a random, <laughs> to, <laughs> the mic. I'll get like a random offer to do like some like brand deal or something mm-hmm. like that. And it's not that I don't like money, love it. I just, there's a, a, a line that I have for myself for what I am interested in doing. So you don't want to be an influencer is what you're saying. It's, Are you kidding me? Hmm. I have zero dogs right now and Jeremy has two. This is bullshit. Well, obviously I've influenced something. In this this is bullshit. No, I just like, I don't, I don't really like um, the, the idea of making like visual content <laughs> and then promoting that on my channels yeah. isn't interesting to me whatsoever. Are you kidding me? Did you see Diggy was just in a full squat too? <laughs> it was so funny. Oh my God. I can't believe we have two of them. I think also too, and maybe this is just like not the content that I watch anymore, but I feel like couples channels, et cetera, was like way bigger than it is. Like, I feel like it used to be way bigger than it is now. Maybe not, maybe I'm I'm just like not consuming it. I don't know, or maybe it's like just more on TikTok. I think there's a lot of family vloggers, but I feel like the the yoga challenge, my boyfriend and I do yoga. I feel like that stuff is like just not, you know what? 
And I'm sure as huge. I'm saying this, it's huge. It's yeah. huge. I see it on TikTok and I think the PTSD of it, I just keep, I scroll away very quickly and I'm like, not interested in seeing this. Yeah. And also like I, the, the thought of having to base some level of my income off of whether or not we can visually be interesting enough for someone to watch short form. Mm-hmm. I mean, like we have to within seven seconds. <gasps> oh no. We have to wait with like with a very few seconds come out with something that's like interesting enough for somebody else, whether yeah. they're in the room or not. Just I, I'm not interested. Um, okay, and so then flipping over to another common topic is a uh, lot of questions about anal. Oh. <laughs> you know, you you take the cover off and let anyone ask anything, and it's just anal and I, feet. I could not believe it. You know, actually, you know what? To summarize a lot of these question comments and statements, we had. Um, I would say the number one was about engagement proposal. When does boyfriend Jeremy become husband Jeremy? Number two, right after we do anal. Next. This has become a singles podcast. <laughs> like, well, that's never happening. My girlfriend doesn't look that hot. You won't like it. Don't look at her. <laughs> Number two um, uh, was about Devin. So many questions about you, Devin. Really? The people want to know what you look like. They're like, I need to put a face to the name. I just, I just put them on my Instagram. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, we posted on Instagram before. I'm ugly right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they wanted to know. They wanted he farted. More. He farted. It smells awful over here. Devin's like, I want to be very clear that it was Diggy that farted and not me. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> audio listeners are like, oh, that's oh, him. Oh, that's Devin. That's what he's about. Um, about, and then about Diggy and Moose. And so we don't want to make this a whole nother dog pod. Um, we did a whole recap of the, our adoption story last week. If you want to go check that out. And my adoption story is somewhere on this podcast as well. It just keep scrolling back. Just keep scrolling back. <laughs> Um, okay, so going going back to anal, people were people had a lot of questions about anal. Let's talk about anal. Let's talk about anal. Is it women? Is it men? Anonymous. We don't know. Right. Okay. We don't right, know. Right, right. We don't know. Okay. Can you talk about anal? Why do people like it so much? Am I the weird one for not understanding? I want to give a maybe this is a hot take, but here is my personal opinion on anal. For me, personally, um, I can't fucking a, wait. A holder of a vagina hole. <laughs> Proud holder. My, a proud holder proud of a vagina hole. Founding member. <laughs> is, that, is that my butthole is an exit for me mm. because I, I have an entrance hole. I do have an entrance hole and that's what it's for. And you know what? I got, I got enough poop problems to begin with. And then I just don't need anything interrupting the flow of what's happening down there personally. And that's my hot take. And I think that there's just um, a large part of me that if you, if we were to do anal and my poop was stuck to you in mm-hmm. any, in any respect, mm. I would, I would, <laughs> I would just not be able to come back from that. I just don't know. Or if like a piece of poop fell out, like I just don't know what I would do with my the trauma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not ready to process that. I'm not ready to process that. And so I'm not willing to put myself in a position where there could be a piece of my poop on your dick. <laughs> Listen, we're not there yet. Um, and if that changes, you guys will be the first to know. But like, I think, I think like a big part of it too is like the, like, I feel like anal is a huge portion of porn as well too. Yeah. And obviously anal being a, like a, a method of gay sex as well too, obviously is a big part of it. Well, I think just like anything that is in any in any room taboo mm-hmm. is in the other room like of interest. I think for me too, a big part of it is like, it's gonna be so fucking painful. Like I, yeah. I think about how painful sometimes sex can be going into the right hole, the vagina hole. What, and what do you mean right hole? The what? What do you mean right hole? The correct hole on my body. The, the hole of your choice. The hole of my choice. <laughs> Another episode my dad is not allowed to listen to. <laughs> I, yeah, I think that it just comes standard to it at this point. Yeah, no, it really does. I think also it's great. We have, we now have a, a podcast title, A Hole of Your Choice. A Hole of Your Choice. And yeah. no, but like truly, I think about like the pain that sometimes can come with sex because like painful sex is not uncommon. And like, that's the hole that was, is the hole of my choice and is definitely much bigger than the other hole. Here's what I'll say. Two things. Two things. One, for the shitting on the dick part. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what you're about to say. Um, a big thing about gay sex is like guys' bottoms will clean themselves out. Right, so they do an enema, right? They do an enema, which is sold at your local CVS, Walgreens, Ralph's Yes, Vons. yes. It's the prep. It's ba- Yeah, it's the but, prep but that you need prep. to do. It's prep, but not but prep. But not prep, yeah. exactly. Does anyone want popcorn? This is great, keep going. Yeah. Oh my God, it gets better. Um, so like you, that's the, the crazy part about gay sex is like, you almost have to like do that prep 
any time you're going to take a dick up the hole. You know? Right. Yeah. That's what, that's what a lot of my friends say, but they're like, also it like requires so much planning. Cause then a lot of my friends are like, also, I think about like what I eat the well, day that, before. That's literally the other end. It's like, you could either be cleaning yourself and eating freely, or yeah. it's like you, there's a lot of gays that just won't eat <gasps> because oh, they don't want to have to produce to do, right, so the there's, duty. There's prep in some shape or form at some point. Yeah. Does that like get in the way of spontaneous sex? That's I, I I've thought about that a lot. I mean, I feel like if if you, you want just, it, you want it. Right, right. That's true. You kind of just go for it. Yeah, yeah. It's complicated. It's right. Like, I feel like when you see in the movies and TV shows, oh, these two guys just ate, just, ate a dinner and then and went then into the go, bathroom. I know. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> That's always like we're skipping a step here. Well, also like the amount of times you like when you're like about to start dating, like when you're not dating someone yet, like mm -hmm. you're just hooking up. There's a lot more like forgiving of like of just being spontaneous and you're yeah. more in the moment versus like- That's true. We're gonna have sex tonight. Let's let's take a shower. Right. No, but also <laughs> like if I don't know someone very well, and again, like if I had a dick and they shit on my dick, like, and it was, maybe it was like a good date, but not a great date. Like maybe I'd be like, I don't know if that's for me. Yep. <laughs> Cheer on me. It's complicated. <laughs> well, like I just like one of like the 19 dudes who's apparently not obsessed with anal. Mm -hmm. And I know there's very few of us. We have a small Facebook group. We get together on Thursdays. Oh, that's so nice. Things are great. Uh, yeah, we all love our moms. Um, no, it's- I love uh, that. It's, uh, I think it's great for people who want it. I think so too. Do you know what poppers are? Okay, so I was actually at a Thanksgiving once. One of the drugs I haven't done. It was, I was at a Thanksgiving once oh and God. one of my- Someone, someone was passing them around. One I'm of scared my, where this is one going. One of my bi friends just like was- Hey, can I just, pass the potatoes? Oh, uh, didn't want a popper. And I was like, Shut up. And so that's where I learned about poppers because they were like, oh, it opens up your butthole. Yeah. And so, okay, so I have so many did questions. It, did it open up your butthole? I was too scared to do it. I was oh. like, <laughs> do I want this to ruin my mashed potatoes that I mean right and now? And pumpkin pie? Yourself? Well, okay, that's what I was like. I was like, am I just gonna shit? I was like, this is not the time, not the place. I'm at a <laughs> Friendsgiving if right you now. You shit at a Friendsgiving? That's like shitting on my penis, but on everybody's penis. <laughs> Everyone's penis. And like, you know what? I think actually Remy would invite me back to her 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 Thanksgiving if I shit at her Thanksgiving. Like Remy would be one of the people that would be the most forgiving of that. Tiff would pull out a vlog camera and start hitting you with it. Tiff would potentially vlog it exactly and, it, it and end up, up on the, the internet. Morning. Yeah. And I just, I oh just God, I don't to think it was the time or place for the popper. Yeah, I no, that that's sense. where I learned that about them. Sense. That's where I learned about that. It makes it makes anal way easier. Like really? by, by like 90%. Because like they're a big part of people is some people how have tight it, assholes. How long does it last? Yeah, that was my next question too. It's like, do you, so when you inhale, is it just like whoop? And then it tightens back I, up. Or I like, like to think it does the beginning work. It like loosens mm. it up so that that's once, the hardest some, part. once something's in there, it's in. It's in. Yeah. It's, it's loose. It's yes. not going to all of a sudden tighten up and chop off the right. Yeah, while it's also, in there. I feel like the fear oh is probably half the <gasps> tensing. Oh well, like I realized that was right. a huge part of me for like why sex started at the beginning is like literally once you like learn how to relax. And this is how I made like I used to be so scared of getting a pap smear because they literally stick the tongs up your, your again, your vagina hole. They open it up and like it, it, it is literally smaller than, well, maybe not smaller than most sex. It would be, <laughs> I'm trying to decide like how big the speculum would be in comparison to having like a dick in your vagina. Why did you laugh at me? What? Why did you look at well, me? Well, I was just thinking, I was like, well, I don't want to like shame people who might be smaller or bigger than the speculum. And so I tried to just make it a little more generalized. Am I smaller than the speculum? I can't remember. No. God, that was not the answer we were no. looking for. Well, it's weird because like, it's like a two piece thing that goes in and then they, they, they like pop it open. Right. It goes. It goes. Yeah, exactly. Basically like a, like a drawbridge. It's like boop. So anyways, what I was going to say is that I feel like those used to be so painful, even though like I could have sex with a dick that was bigger than a speculum. I was like, what? Well, this doesn't make any fucking sense. But it's because your feet are on little stirrups under fluorescent bright white light at 2 p.m. Can you, okay, can you imagine the next time you go in for it? It's just like, bam, sexy lights. Sexy lights, <sighs> like music, yeah. fireplace. Yeah. That would probably make it more relaxing. Yeah. And also the dude named like Dr. Johnson. Right, but it's just like a very sterile environment. And so you're like super tense and you're super stressed. And a lot of people just have like, like uh, um, pap smear fear, literally. I mean, I don't thoroughly enjoy doing anything at the doctors, so. No, yeah. literally. And so that's why like it hurt so much more. But then I like eventually was like, oh, like this is definitely like why, like how sex can get easier as well too. You just like, you went in for like multiple pap smears a week just until like. 
Until it's not easier. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. makes sense. And you would not believe the clean bill of health that I have. The thing I just realized and put one and one or two and two together is mm-hmm. that if and when I have a colonoscopy, mm-hmm. I'll just take poppers with me. There you go. I'll hit them and they can get on up there. You realize that you have to shit your entire, you shit your entire like life savings of body out. Right. But like first. at least it gets up there. Oh, I think a lot of guys get actually um, a little bit sedated for it. Oh, oh yeah. Is there, yeah. A, is there a fully sedated option? Yeah. Oh, I'm great. I, I did just watch a video of uh, Ryan Reynolds and yeah, Rob Ryan McElhaney. Reynolds and yeah, getting um, getting a um, a colonoscopy. Do it with a buddy. Yeah, do it with a buddy. So next week's podcast, we're gonna Literal actually be getting our butt buddies. <laughs> we're, wait, listen. Next week, butt buddies for street boys. So anal's off the table. Anal's off the table for me personally. Well, <laughs> <laughs> which means that for Jeremy, it is also off the table. But like, <laughs> if it was not already off the table, yeah. Like, I feel like I've, I've gone down that road. I've, I've traveled oh. that, oh, fuck off. Uh, oh. oh, please. Oh, oh please. <laughs> I could drop bombs right now, but I won't. But I could, but I won't. Oh. Hmm. Mm. Point is, uh, I don't feel like it's road any travel again. <clears throat> yeah, no, no, it's not. Um, okay, moving on, moving on. Um, Sometimes when Jeremy talks about college, I just know that I dated the exact college version of him, slightly traumatizing. <laughs> hey, Michelle. You know what? Uh, every every girl deserves to have a college a college experience that helps them learn. Where are you going with this? Fuck a fat uh, fuck a frat boy era. F- a fuck a frat boy era. Yeah. Well, I might. Add, it would be best to, to get that out in college. Yeah. Not, not yeah. like 35. Not, yeah, or like even like 29. Yeah. Like fuck a frat, like I, I didn't have a fuck of a frat boy era. Never? Mm, no. We also like the frat situation in downtown Toronto is not really a thing. I, yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm not actually convinced that there are fraternities in Canada, really. Yeah. There, there were, but I think there was like a Toronto, I had like one friend whose boyfriend was in a frat, but it was like a, like a Toronto wide frat of like other universities as well too. I don't know. The whole thing was very foreign and very confusing. That's just a country club. Um, Fuck a frat boy. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> I wish that there was um, a lot more footage mm-hmm. that I could carefully curate and put together a small reel. Mm-hmm. But um, fortunately everyone's, fo- and by the way, phones were so bad. Even if you'd have videos, you can't really tell. No. Yeah. No. Thank God. Blackberries at that time could barely take photos. Barely. 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 It would cost you 16 cents to send everyone. More than that. I don't remember. 16 cents? That's 25 a cents? bargain. 50 cents? Bargoony? Bargoony. <laughs> what else? Um, okay, so this is this is such a funny question. So it says, you were supportive when Mia made an OnlyFans. Why are you so against making one? And this person has asked me this question in every possible platform. Do you know and who it is? Opportun- no, I have no idea who it is. Got it. Oh, well, they've asked me before from their actual account. So I probably could figure it out. Anyways, I've seen this exact question or comment at so many fucking times in the last month. Um, and it's not that like, I, I'm i like, oh, actually like, am I, I guess? <coughs> Wait, why, why is it, be- okay, let's just take two steps back. Why would it be wrong for someone to be supportive of their friends on OnlyFans? Right, like the, the, way that this, the way that this is phrased, I feel like rose me the wrong way in like a weird way. This is like entitlement over, yeah. Uh, why you're not seen, why your logic is incorrect right. based off of your support for someone else. Right, yeah, that's, right. Is that gaslighting? That, I, I feel I feel like I'm, yeah, like I feel, I feel weird about this. If you want me to step out and you could talk to him for a while, I don't mind. Let's break this down into two parts. I am so supportive of anything my friends want to do, whether that be well, OnlyFans. Well, well. Well, had, there are a few select hard drugs, um, some like- <laughs> Child sexual abuse, heroin. There, yeah, yeah, right. There's a- yeah, There's a line. There's a few things that, yeah, totally. Yeah. But for the most part, generally, especially career-wise, like most projects and endeavors, I am in, I'm in support of, of whatever my friends want to do. And I think Mia too was like, she absolutely thrives. Like she's got a banging body. She loves working towards her body and she feels great and she's confident and she's fucking killing it. By the way, I don't think part of this argument needs to be why it's right for Mia as much as it is it's wrong for this person to use this as an argument against you. Yeah. Am I being bullied? Um, Am I being gaslit? No. No, no, no. Because these are just words. They, they mean nothing to you. They mean a little bit to you. They mean so a little much. Bit. <laughs> yeah. 
like, I think there's like this strong balance between like, well, careful balance between um, people on the internet uh, not have, not being, not having to care about everything because they realize it's just worth mm-hmm. the internet mm-hmm. and then having to care so much because it's their entire life that is wrapped up in to a degree people's attention. Yes. It's a careful balance. It is a, it is a, it is a. But I think that there are, there's quite the fucking jump between you supporting anyone, including your friends mm-hmm. doing OnlyFans yeah. and you doing paywall content in general. Totally. Totally agree. Just my two cents. Anyways, um, I. But may, by the way, did they call you out or maybe they're talking to me? That, that, it could be about you. Yeah. Could be about maybe you. Maybe I have one of you haven't, you haven't found it yet. You know what I think goes the wrong way too about this Ma'am. is that it, it, it makes it seem like OnlyFans is a bad thing and that I'm above it. You know what I mean? Like that's also the energy that this is giving. Well, it's- And it's, that really bothers me. It's, well, it's that you would think that. But right, not that you're it right, is, you're right. It's but that, it's that you think I this. think that I'm above OnlyFans. Yeah. I think that, I think anybody who- uh, Am I spiraling right now? I think I'm spiraling. Bit, yeah, I'm trying to walk you on back on here. <laughs> it's fine. I also just like the, the thought of any new platform that mm-hmm. you have to now make new content for, especially specific to that and for paying customers. Oh my God. I have this like, big thing with like paywall. In fact, I probably care- as a, as a millennial, uh, no, but like millennials in particular, I think grew up in a world where content was free. Hello, LimeWire. Too free. Fair share. Right, illegally free. Yeah. And it was not until Spotify, it's another one like made the actual experience better right. for 10 bucks a month. People yeah. were like, I guess I'll pay for content. Oh, there is a question that I want to answer <laughs> because it was about how, it, and you'll have the answer to this because it was about how some of the ads, it was like, you have, you have too many ads in your podcast. Half of them aren't even read by you. And so it's, and, but I wanted you to explain it because- I'm gonna finish my point, if that's okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. My point is, I'm gonna wrap up here is that if you, I think offer content that is specific to people only who pay and nobody else gets to see it, you have to be really passionate about that personally, or you shouldn't do it. And I don't think either of us are that passionate about cutting some people off to create that elevated of an experience for a select few. That was well said. Thanks, Devin. Appreciate it. Found it. You have too many ads on your podcast and some are weird as fuck and aren't even voiced by you. It makes me not want to listen. Please offer an ad-free version. So um, we're TSJ, offering- TSJ, tech support Jeremy. We're gonna offer a premium version and it's only for people to pay. Uh, I mean, I've, I've, I've thought about this quite a bit, but- First off, two things. One, anyone who's complaining about the ads that are not read by us, those are dynamic advertisers. So it's DAI, so it's dynamic insertion. They are based off your search history. So whatever weird ads you're getting, mm-hmm. it is because you <laughs> went to fucking, like, it's, I'm not kidding. One time someone was trying to like make a big, like, can you believe this ad for this? Oh my God, like I'm who like, even needs a 24 inch dildo? And it's babe. like, babe. Uh, Babe. Greg, I think it's because, uh, no. You did not just use my dad's name as your as your hypothetical listener. <laughs> Chris, uh, anyway, the point is, uh, yeah, so those are just. But. So like, so there's two different types of ads. There are ads obviously okay. that like we read, that we approve, Ho- that we're host like, oh, ads. yeah, host read ads. So right. it's like, uh, when we, wa- I can't when we work with, this. what? Can't well, no, this. I was like, this is not something that you would know if you're like, don't produce a podcast because it's like so random. There's two types of ads, ones of like brands that we approve and want to work with and read the ads for. And then there's other random ones that are just inserted at certain um, like time points or whatever in the podcast that are going to be based on literally your personal interests and search. And by the way, that could be like category wide. So like maybe if you just right. like something that like it can be not, it could be a, a poorly targeted ad, but all of right. those are going to be based off of your consumer behavior. Right. Or the consumer behavior of the home and the Wi-Fi address. So like it could be your little brother as well. Right, so if you're getting weird as fuck ads, that's that's your household's problem. Yeah, check your dad's Reddit history. Ooh, I hate that. Oof, yikes. Um, what time do you fall asleep last night? A very wholesome question. No, huh? 2 a.m., 1.30? 2 a.m.? It was earlier than that, wasn't it? I don't know, I was out by 11. I was watching Rami. You're watching Rami? It's like one. I like didn't finish, I didn't do my Wordle, so I know that it was before midnight. I think it was like till one. Okay. Yeah, I'm big on Rami right now. Yeah, big Rami fan. There's just, I don't, I've never had a ton of Muslim friends. Okay. And I'm fascinated learning all of the similarities Mm -hmm. that you just don't realize. I think also Rami is a really interesting depiction of it too, because it's from the perspective of a guy who's like kind of our age. Kind of our age, but also like in a city and wants to, 
like pay attention to all the things the world tells you are important, but also mm-hmm. wants to pay attention to the things that his family tells him is important, but also mm-hmm. wants to pay attention to the cult. So just like this, like, no matter what people are struggling or weirdly oh, dealing yeah, with. Oh, you can see yourself in him for sure. I, I wouldn't no do, what. yeah, exactly. It's just mm-hmm. like, this is like obviously specific to where he's from and his religion, but it, you could put anybody in those shoes and just be like, I just was trying to not have a, a bad day and I messed everything up and here I am, but it's going to be fine. Next question is, what is Lauren's age in frog years? And this was the first time I've ever been asked that. I've done many Q and A's over the years. And so I need to know if there's such thing as frog years and dog years. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. Oh no, it's dog, isn't it? (laughs) It's dog, isn't it? It's fog. In fog years? In fog years. So I added an R, but it was actually supposed to be a D. Okay, well now I need to know if there's frog years. How old am I in frog years? (laughs) Fuck. Uh, Is it just giving lifespans of frogs? 16 and a half. Oh my God. So it it literally says, what is Lauren's age? Ib fog years. Weird question. One frog year is equivalent to five human years. <gasps> so what? Why? I don't know. Also, this is a Googleable question. Yeah, well, they wanted to know. So how how old am I in frog years? What was it? What was the equation? Five, six. So yeah, one frog year is five equivalent to five human years. A five and three fourths. I'm because uh, you're almost I'm thirty. Twenty seven. I have a five. I'm a five point eight. She's twenty nine. Age in frog years. Yeah, twenty nine. I need you to fucking cool almost it. Almost thirty. I need you to absolutely cool it. Almost thirty. And once she's thirty, then I can take my time with the engagement <laughs> ring because you're already washed up goods. Next. This is again <laughs> now a singles podcast. You know what? Um, the, the engagement ring was coming a lot quicker, a lot sooner until, um, taxes just wiped out the rest of the money that, that Diggy didn't take it this week. So, um, maybe next time to next I year. I saw our wild till nine invoice shh, statement. Shh, 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 shh. Next question, next question or statement. <clears throat> a related question. Will you be a DIY bride? No, God. Oh my God. Yeah, no, no, no. That, it feels, it feels very stressful. Like I see my friends planning weddings when they're, only managing logistics, not even like actually making things. And they are so stressed beyond belief. It is outrageous. I can't even imagine like organizing and managing general wedding planning on top of then making like all of like the table settings and stuff like that. I really am like, and I don't know if it's because I've done the majority of of it once, Mm -hmm. but I've never been less like, uh, interested mm-hmm. in th- the wedding itself. Wait, that was a, 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 that was another common question is like, do you want a big wedding or a small wedding? I want in a wedding that I'm a hundred percent confident with you. I, yeah, I want the biggest wedding that I'm, that we're both equally confident mm-hmm. will not be a stress point in our lives. Oh my so God. So how yeah. big that is, yeah. that's four people. Great. If it's 400 people, great. But like, oh my if God. the wedding itself, but like- I don't know in saying. what world you think that 400 people at a wedding would not be a stress point. I also, I don't think, I understand just how many seat fillers we need to fill 400 people. Yeah, I was going to say, have we have friends. six friends. Yeah, no, I just, the the thought of doing anything mm-hmm. that is going to like become uh, more of a production and show than it is I for us. I think I'm the reality in. here is that I would be doing most of it. So it will you probably, would. it was probably way, you be would. less stressful. Like for you. there's no world where I'm like, I can't fucking wait to get place settings. And to co- exactly. pick some napkin colors. Ooh, baby, talk to me about lavender napkins. Like, what's what's the open bar look like? Mm-hmm. Can we make that better? Can we make that better? Great. Well, uh, we're doing fillets? No, no, I want fillets. Not just any stuff. Okay, great. Great. That's it. That's it. Just fillets. Listen, just fillets and lavender napkins. None of my friends are going to remember <laughs> anything besides they got married. Food was okay. Have we talked about this before? Good. That we like we like the idea if things were to go in that direction and we do get married of like doing. She says with like fucking just utter disdain. What after your hot takes this episode? What sir? <laughs> of like doing something like really small and intimate. I have a few friends who did this, especially like during COVID too, is where they do something really small and intimate with like less than 20 people. And then they do something more like on the vibe of a party. That's definitely like a little more um, casual as well too. So there's not like seated meal where you have to have like a specific head count. Well, also- Cause it's fucking expensive when it's like a hundred bucks per person or whatever like that. I feel like it's like on average when you do catering. 
Well, that's okay. But that's the thing for people don't realize like when you live in the cities, venues require you to yes. use their cook and they're like, they're like you, you don't get to cater. Yeah. You're using the food options that they provide you with because that's where they make the majority of the money. Mm -hmm. And an event that requires the same staff for a, a any other fucking thing that's not a corporate event or weddings mm -hmm. would be a half the price. Literally. If the word weddings involved, mm -hmm. holy shit. Mm -hmm. So to your point, I'd much rather- Celebration of love. Throw a banger. Yeah. Yeah. Right, exactly. You know what we'll do? Um, we'll do one of those just like, didn't you in Canada have like a field party thing that you guys used to do? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll do one of those. Um, bush party. Yeah. That's what it's called, the those. bush party. <laughs> but like, I had much spending, as opposed to spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. I just, I just wanna be very clear that I am past my days of peeing in fields. Before it's Drug, all over. If tipsy falling into bushes and peeing in fields, I'm past those days. I wish so, I, I wish that I could just hang out with that Lauren one night. <laughs> Okay, wait, question for that you. That Lauren loved peach Smirnoff. By the way, okay. If you found out yeah. that you left for the day, okay? While you were gone, a genie popped out of nowhere. Oh my God. Okay. And said, Jeremy, I will give you three wishes. <laughs> as long as those three wishes are whether or not you want to go on a date with a younger version of you. Yeah. Actually, even better. He sets me up on a date with like 19, 20... Uh, one and 23 year old Lauren. Okay. Okay. 19, 20 and 23. They're 19, 21 and 23. So like uh, first year of high school or first year of college kind yes. of thing. Yes. Um, 21, so legal to drink in America. Okay. And then like 23 post-college, but like haven't really figured out who the fuck you are yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I say yes. And I go on dates with all of them. Uh -huh. Would you, one, and I, I didn't have time to ask you, nor could I. Okay. Would you be one? It's getting really, really complicated. There's really just two questions. Okay. Would you be more offended if I didn't hook up with any of them or if I did? Cause it's you, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. but it's like, mm -hmm. if you were How old are you though in these scenarios? A matching age? Yeah. You're the matching age. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think- That changes it? Yes, 100%, 100%. Is that, that's like 10 years ago. That's 10 years ago. That's a 10, no, that's no, no. a 10 year age gap. Also like 19 to 23, you could change your taste in men between that time. Totally. Truly. By the way, like there's also like the, the, the story here, which we should turn to a TV show. It's like, I have to like convince these people to go on a day with me. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. I can't decide if I like start with like, hey, sorry, let me stop you right there. So my name's Jeremy. <sighs> we actually do a podcast together and we'll be together for like four years. And we're going to have two eggs. Two meatballs. Two pigs in our home. Like, actually, what version of you do you uh -huh. think I would have? Well, let's, say, let's answer that question first. Okay, okay. Um, um, 23 year old, I would want you to not sleep with. Go on. That's just like my cringiest era. Really? Out of all of those, 100%. You, okay, got it. Because 19, I started YouTube at 19. Um, and I think 21 and 19 are both, I would want you to sleep with that version of me. You would want to? Yes. Got it. Yes. Got it. Would it then change your 23 year old self by sleeping with him? Oh, it would change you. Oh my fucking God. I I cannot. We walked into I, that. Yeah, we walked right into that, Devin. <laughs> by the way, I'm, I'm gonna join you guys. We all walked in that. Oh. So, okay, that. Now, next question. Okay. At 19, 21, and 23. Yes. Which version of yourself do you think I would have the easiest and most difficult time convincing to even go on a date with me? Assuming you were single at all of them. Right, assuming I was single. Um, I think probably, <clears throat> and assuming that I was also single. I think 19 would be the hardest. Okay. Because I think if you were preppy, I would be at 19, I would have been the most, um, adverse to preppiness for sure. Got it. Um, I think to- I mean, I fell out of a Brooks Brothers in 19, so yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like, I think that you would be the complete opposite of what I'd be looking for at 19. Yeah. And I think at 20, I think it would get easier as I got older. Got it, okay. Yeah. So the, the version of me, the version of you, you did not want me to sleep with, mm -hmm. that would be the easiest for me. And the most, the one that you did want me to have sex with, that one would be the most difficult, but you'd want me to still go on that path anyway. Thank you. That's the most you answer I've yeah. heard. <laughs> well, I just went, when I think of myself at 23, it's the most cringiest era of my life. 23? Easiest. By the easy, way, easy, knocking easy. that out by 23 is fantastic. No, 
Yeah. Some people do at 17, yeah. but uh, sure. You know, you know, like obviously I had high school cringy, but I was not cringier than anyone else who was like in that also era of 2010, 2011. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel embarrassed of like who I was when everyone else was like in those same like times. Right. It's, um, it's like, a, it's like a embarrassment hangover. Yeah. Yeah. It spills over into like, oh, you, you, you had never had so much information yet. So did such so much information, it. so much privilege to make my own decisions, yeah. so much access to money to make, make like, literally any decision ever aesthetically. Ooh. And I'm sorry, this is gonna be a tangent now. Next version of this. Oh my God. Okay. And this is actually super deep. I think I'm sweating. I, I mean, you're not allowed to ask me this question because I don't know what I would, I would okay. like answer with. But yeah. if you could take yourself to lunch, but yourself oh is God. the version of you. Oh, fuck. Oh, I got it. Would you, <sighs> if you could go on a lunch date with yourself, right? Yes. At any age in the future. Okay. What age would you pick? And what would you ask them? If, okay, wait, hang on, hang on. If I, say it one more time. So if you could take yourself out for lunch. Okay. Or whatever the fuck you want to do. Yeah. At any age in the future. Okay, so I'm, me right now yeah. is taking out to lunch any person in the past. No, any, I mean, any me, yeah, sorry. I mean, yeah. any Lauren the in the past. Future. Lauren yeah. is, Lauren can speak, Lauren can speak and meet anybody <laughs> in the future. So like 39 yourself, 30, 49 yourself, oh, 59, 69, oh, 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 90. Oh, oh, oh. Right. oh, man, see, like all this really makes me nervous because like it will change everything in how I live my life. Right, so maybe you don't at all. I don't think I want to, no. Also, it's hard because you don't really know what's going to happen in the future versus like asking but, of but, your by the way, By the way, it'd be way easier. You don't have, like, you get to choose what question you ask. So you don't have to ask like, when will I die? <laughs> like, <laughs> will Moose live forever? Like, you don't need to ask that question. Hmm. So we're going to force you to, to go at some point. You could do 32 and just like cop out. But yeah, maybe, had, maybe we'll go one year old and just like, does, does D have IBD? Are you like, really? Nothing? I don't know because anything like really, really intense is gonna, it would change the outlook of how I live intense. my life. Will Disney take over Netflix? Yeah. <laughs> Will I get another hosting gig? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> Got it, this has been a great conversation, cool. All yeah, right. I don't know, I don't know. There's like, I would never, I would never wanna ask life-changing questions and even things that like don't feel like a life-changing question would probably be life-changing. Got it. I think literally anything could could alter the path of the decisions that you could make. Even me, like, do I live in a house or an apartment? You know what I mean? Like hearing that answer would change everything. Fair. Like yeah. it just brings up so many questions. Okay. Yeah, by, by the way, like you're like, okay, I'll do um, 39 to be safe. And like you show up and like, there's no one there. Like, when are they coming? Oh, I'm dead. Oh. I'm dead. Good to know. Okay, got it. Right. Yeah. And so then if you knew you were dead by 39, is it gonna, are you dying at 38 and a half or are you dying tomorrow? Like you don't fucking know. Hard to say. I get it. I, I hate I hate that scenario of having, I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Well, fortunately I'm not a genie in a bottle. <sighs> and thank God we know my age in frog years now. <laughs> I should say I own a frog at home in Massachusetts that's been alive <laughs> for 23 years. Shut the fuck up. You have a 23 year old frog. This should have come up in your interview. We would have immediately told you to leave. Wait, I'd had to. Wait, by the way, you can keep a frog alive for 23 years? I guess. That is Kudos insane. What's his name? Um, the one that's still alive is either, well, so I had two and they were Biggie, which was named after a fair because I got him on the day we got back from a fair, little carnival. And the other one is Plankton after a SpongeBob character. Adorable. That is adorable. Also, we know that Plankton is not a frog, right? Yes. 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 He's a sea frog. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever have sea monkeys? <laughs> no. No, you never did sea monkeys? No. I think for Vlogmas, we have to get some sea monkeys. Okay. <laughs> I want I want sea monkeys for Vlogmas. On the pod, you heard it here first. Sea monkeys for Vlogmas. Also, one of the other common questions that I got that, that I've strangely got many, many times, because remember how, you know, Moose and I do the advent calendar for Vlogmas where you, oh, it's a daily thing. God, I can't wait. It's gonna be a nightmare. It's gonna be a nightmare. Also, cause Diggy doesn't know how to sit. Diggy doesn't know how to do anything. <laughs> Nothing. Wait, while I was in the bathroom, yes. I had a genius stroke of- Stroke of genius. Anyway, not my brightest moment. If, back to that thing a little quick. If uh, uh. you oh, no. could go to the past and tell your former self anything, would you? Mm. Well, okay, but then does that throw off the course of your entire life? Of course it does. Then no. Got it. Then no. Oh my God, imagine if you were like, do Craftopia with adults season one. <laughs> 
convince them to fire all the children. <laughs> That's terrible. But so like, I mean, there's nothing that you would have wanted to know earlier. I mean, of course there are. There's so many things that I would have wanted to know, but like, I'm very happy with where I am right now. Like, do I wish that I wouldn't have as many mental spiral breakdowns and be so medicated and have to do so many months of therapy? Yes, of course. But like, I am very but happy. BetterHelp.com is there for you. Slash WT9, baby. It is. No, but like, I, I wish like, Obviously, if I could go back and change things that would take away some of the struggle that I had, obviously that sounds very ideal, but I mean, you gotta you gotta have the hard days to have the good days. But with the struggle, the appreciation also comes. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be, you gotta be a broken bitch sometimes to be a happy bitch. Yeah. Put it, that on a mug. <gasps> I had the genius idea. So genius idea. So working on blanket number two, V2 of winter 2023, I'm gonna do matching pup bandanas or cat bandanas or whatever whatever animal you have. Your Squishmallow wants a bandana. Frog. Go for it. Frog bandana, 23 year old frog bandana that says the, that has, it's like the matching color scheme and the matching graphic of I'm a fucking delight. Tell me that's not amazing. Do we have to like give Donna a royalty for this or? Well, I don't think so. No, because Donna said that I am a delight. Donna didn't say that I'm a fucking delight. Yeah, but like in Donna's language. I said I'm a fucking delight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you heard like, duh. I'm a delight, really? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I love it. Pup bandanas. I'm excited. I'm so excited for the blanket. I'm so excited. In the works. I know we said we're not gonna make this a moose and diggy, <laughs> a, a miggy, a miggy, a gadoose podcast, but there were a handful of questions. And so we'll try and knock it out in a speed round. Um, does moose get jealous over diggy? I don't think so. I don't think so either. We were like really curious to see if he was gonna feel jealousy, but Moose is super cuddly, but Moose cuddles on Moose's terms. Yeah, he's um, he's a selfish lover. He's a selfish lover. He's the sweetest boy ever. And gonna be honest, like Moose is a averagely well-behaved dog. I would say Moose has never looked like such a shining star. <laughs> well, like, Diggy doesn't know his name. Diggy doesn't know anything. He doesn't know He sit, doesn't know anything. Stay down. But like Come you here. just love him so much because he is obsessed with affection and he just loves everyone so much. Which, which, is, which is why like when he's in pain or he's sad, it's really sad. Oh my God, the amount of times that I've cried over the last couple of days have been absolutely unhitched. <laughs> yeah, it's been, um, we've, we, we should get a Kleenex sponsor at some point for this podcast. Okay, and then this literally almost makes me cry just like reading it right tell. now. <laughs> Being an owner of two dogs, I always cry thinking that they won't die at the same time so one will have to live without the other. Has this thought ever come across your mind? Can you just insult us next time, please, ma'am? Of course I have. I think about that every day now. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> also, what about me? If they both go, I also would like to go. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna come home one day. Lauren will have off herself and like the dogs are just not here. It, 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 we, we go together. But not because she had anything wrong with her, just because like we she, go couldn't, she couldn't live without Moose. <laughs> they all have Indeed. 14 urns. Yeah, we yeah. go together. And like, didn't give me the heads up. We go together. <laughs> and then also people are like, and, and maybe this is something that- Like if Lauren ever killed me actually, now I'm thinking about it, it would be because she just doesn't want to live in a world where we're not all here. We all go <laughs> together. We're just in the car one day and she just like off the side of the building. Like, what are you doing? She's like- We all go together. Yeah, I'm hearing you. <laughs> Um, I used to always, I feel like I grew up around a couple sets of twins and I could never tell them apart. Could never tell them apart. Like, and everyone would be like, it's so obvious. Like, what do you mean? Like this person's face shape is just different. And the way that like their eyes are like, and I was like, they look the fucking exact same. Obviously they had the same nose. Cause that's Lauren's biggest indicator. Yeah. For some reason I, I always like, am not like hyper fixated on a person's nose, but I always like notice nose structure for whatever reason. Yeah. That's and like your thing. I also didn't realize that I noticed noses more than other people until Jeremy pointed it out one day. It was hard not to. Yeah. Yeah. But now seeing how many people can't tell Moose and Diggy apart. One has a penis on their nose. One does not. They just look so different. Well, one's, well, I feel like Diggy's eating smaller already. Well, he lost two pounds. Diggy lost two pounds, two in, a healthy, pounds. in a healthy way. Yes, Diggy lost two good pounds. I was yeah. very happy about it in two weeks, which is great. Yeah, because he went from sausage boy to- To- Half a McMuffin. 
I love a McMuffin. Okay. I well, love a McMuffin. Then one, one full McMuffin. One full McMuffin to yeah. a McMuffin with a few bites out of it, maybe? Yeah. Well, Bull Terriers live to be like 97, so we're fine. Thank God. Thank God again. We're all going together. Um, but they look so different to me and people, I will say out of the corner of my eye because their coloring is so identical and their like shape and size and is pretty similar. And you're blind. And I'm also blind. When they walk by my peripherals, I, I it would be a shot in the dark. It's a 50-50 on who it is. That's why we keep one in the diaper. Just, right. just to like, differentiate it's, it's like the identifying. Like, yeah, if, exactly. I put, if I put a diaper on Moose, Lauren would probably just like be pet. Oh, it's so, it's so nice to see. Like you wouldn't even think about it. <laughs> I wouldn't even think about it. So funny because I've met them. And when you ask those questions on your story, I got both of them wrong. Really? I got both of them wrong. I was looking for Diggy's like fat neck, but it just wow. like the way you Devin. position. No, but Diggy does have a really thick neck. Right. And Diggy I, got I, a thick I, neck. I thick met them and yeah. I couldn't even tell them apart. Tiff, Tiff got them both wrong too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but Tiff, she focuses on very interesting things. <laughs> This is just, Jeremy's yeah. just common for Tiff this episode. Ever since she walked in and said, I've never seen someone's face fill up a driver's <laughs> license photo. Like the, 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 the background in comparison to my face. Like the me- fighting words. Like she walked in and yeah. chose No, no, she declared, yeah, she declared, yeah, she declared war on yeah. that hundred um, percent. Who right. do you have, who do you have pinned on iMessage? I'll go through mine. You can go through yours. Okay. Um, the very first, I, I will never forget. This is one of the nicest things that Jeremy has ever done. It was like the nicest gesture. Actually, this makes it sound like you don't do nice things. But when I saw that I was the only pinned, the only pinned conversation on Jeremy's iMessage. Set me up for failure right now because she's screamed. you're no longer the only pinned. I know you've got like five now. Go ahead. You start. Well, I've got nine. So you go ahead. Uh, I have my mother. Ooh. I have you. Mm-hmm. I have Nick Chris from work. Okay. I've got Wild Till Nines, our <gasps> little. Whoa! Oh yeah. God, I read the cut. Well, with the notifications turned to mute. And, he hates us, Evan. And yeah. that's why he never responds. <laughs> and a chat message between me, Zane, and Heath. That's so nice. Those are my three or five. Five. As you're pinned? We talk every day. Cute. Oh. oh. Thanks, guys. That's adorable. What do you guys have? <laughs> okay, so I've got my mom. I've got Mia. I've got you, Kelsey. It's like a top eight. I know, seriously. No, also, because like some people just are more texty than others too. Mm, you know what I mean? Like Tiff is a close friend. But actually, perfect example. Asian Girl Squad is not one of my pin conversations because Tiff is not a texty person. Mia and I talk a lot individually and Remy and I are in a separate group chat with Ollie, which is a pin conversation. T. So I've got my mom, Mia, Jeremy, Kelsey, um, my group chat with my vlog editor and my DIY channel editor. Uh, TikTok host, which is Ollie, Remy and I, um, my Wordle family group chat. That's got my mom, my aunt, my cousin's uh, wife, my dad and I, where we send our Wordle scores every day. Uh-huh. This is just like generally a, a family group chat. Um, Cutie Coochies, which is Zach Kornfeld, fiance Maggie and Kelsey. And then my assistant Kate. Wow. I'm just They're thrilled. That's quite the made the cut. Yeah, yeah, you did make the cut. Not that you ever respond to me. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I've never used... Uh, like, I think it's really passive aggressive. People do like when they um, add the reaction to their own question with the um, question mark. Like, you know how you can oh, react. Oh, like, and you can like emphasize you your own text. You can emphasize your own response. text when Jeremy doesn't. I've never used the fucking emphasize with question marks so many times with any. I would also just, because I feel like it's kind of rude. I would never do that to someone else, but to you. Well, the one time that I remember I was not chill on last week's podcast when we first started dating. So I'm just trying to be more chill now. Oh yeah, you, wait, was that last week's podcast we were talking about that? No, it was a sticky podcast last week. Well, whenever it was when I was not chill for texting quickly. You were not chill at the beginning. Not chill. It was so nice though. Chill now, relaxed, Xanaxed, out. Someone, <laughs> this one was so funny. Someone said that, that you act like you're, like, again, this is like why it should have gone on the Wild Till Nine page. You're so right because this is just shitting on me. You act like you're an I don't give a fuck kind of girl, but you get your panties in a nod over the littlest things. So you very much pretend, you very much care, but pretend like you don't appear cool. That's your brand. I know, are you kidding me? I care so much. My panties are always in a nod. There has never been a world where I'm like, I don't care. That's not true. There's a moment in every single time something happens to you. One moment, 2% mm-hmm. of the 100%, 2% and you go, I just don't fucking care. And then seven seconds later and you go, I just don't know why anyone would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but like, I very openly care a lot. I am an anxious mess with a lot of emotions. I obviously care. I care, I care more than is healthy for me. <laughs> True words have not been spoken. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So maybe then, it was for me. Maybe they were directing it at me. I want to be very clear. I don't pretend to look cool. 
I don't know, try to look cool because I don't give a fuck. I I very much give a fuck. You give fucks. You give I way give more fucks to things that you should so not be fucking So many giving. fucks that yeah. don't need fucks given to them. Yeah, in fact, there should be a fuck counter. Not for snacks, but for the fucks that you give throughout a day. It's all of them. In comparison to mine. All is the it, fucks. You, you run out of fucks. Whatever, however many fucks you have to give that day, mm-hmm. you run out and then you go to sleep. Yeah. Got it. In fact, I could see that being a fuck counter between like when you need to like take a nap. That that a hundred percent is when you should deserve a nap when your fuck counter has hit maximum. I'd argue that when you're out of fucks, you shouldn't try to give more fucks to. I agree. I think you just call it because then you're just like unnecessarily mean. In fact, people that are rude are really just a little tired because mm-hmm. they've run out of fucks to give. To give. Yeah. Right. And what they need is more fucks. That's all it is. Or a nap. But every once in a while, you give fucks to people that shouldn't receive the fucks. That's the problem. Definitely you're more sparing. With if, your fucks. If there was a count, like, you know, like on your, your phone battery yeah. of the day. Yeah. If at 11 a.m. you saw 15%, you don't get to charge that thing until you mm. fall asleep at night. And you know, mm. you have six more hours. Yeah. You might would be lighting off that fuck stick. You know who, Um, you know where I feel like that is really relevant is in Sims. When I used to play Sims, your little, um, your little floating diamond. You it, used to make them fuck? It, it's called Woohoo. Woohoo. It's called woohoo. Woohoo. Um, but no, your, your little green diamond turns yellow and it de- depletes and you've got, yeah, it's a whole thing. So anyways, that's very relevant. Fun fact, I've never played Sims. Oh my God. Or Roller Coaster Tycoon. <gasps> we can leave. Oh my God. Sims really got me, but Roller Coaster Tycoon? I know. No, I wasn't playing PC games as a kid. Shocker. <gasps> I don't understand why. I, I played sports. I also played sports. Listen, this is the most jockey thing that'll ever come out of my mouth, but I just didn't do it. Oh my God. What about kid picks? Oh, what's kid picks? I don't play kid picks. Damn it. Wow, that looks so fun. Early 2000, it was <gasps> like our like Photoshop for kids. Oh. Yeah, but okay, okay, okay. We can, I'm gonna bring everybody Did back. Did love a little bit of paint? I'm bringing everybody back. Oregon Trail. What is that? Uh, what? <laughs> like uh, the hike? You neither of you played. You neither of you have played, you've, what are you you played Oregon Trail. Oh, we didn't have this in Canada. Look it up. Are you guys kidding? Oregon Trail. I should. I can't. How many years have I been with you? <laughs> Go to all. Oh. 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 Huh. Everyone fucking gets. I think it's uh, uh, cholera or something. Does this look familiar, Jeremy? Uh. Yeah. Mary is, has is, a broken a, arm. Go to all. I, I want. No. 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 I. Can't, I am. Ashamed to, to oh, even be in the same room. Yeah, go, go to like a Wikipedia God. or something like that. Oh wow, there's so many of them. Yeah, it, uh, listen, I need wow. it, people in the comments below. What did you die of most on Oregon Trail? What did you die of most? Uh, like like there was like scurvy, cholera. Um, um what's what's mm-hmm. dysentery? Mm-hmm. No dysentery for sure. Mm-hmm. It's like the water. Yeah, Oregon Trail is a series of educational computer games. Wow. The first game was written up by Don Rat something Minnesota Educational Computing Consortium. Wow, or, or as I like to call it, the Mech. I played a ton of Sims. I loved uh, drawing stupid things on paint. A lot of Neopets. Habbo Hotel. Mm. Habbo Hotel was my shit. Yeah, but you fucked on that thing. I loved Habbo Hotel. A little Falling Fernie game. Hell yeah. We had different. Yeah, you were dying of scurvy over here. I would yeah. say whose childhood is, is, is weirder. Still. Well, anyway. Uh, Next question. My boyfriend is going to propose to me in November, but he doesn't know that I know. I don't know if I should tell him or just let it be. A hundred percent let it be. I'll take this. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. So you've stumbled on information that you shouldn't know. I want to ask where you got that information. Doesn't matter. But in no world should you pretend like you know. In fact- Wait, 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 what? In no world should you pretend like you know. But she does know. Right. You're saying, no, no, she should pretend that she does not know. Right. When it happens, but is like, what you're saying. D- true, yes. But like my point is like, there's no there's no reason, there's no opportunity. If he asks, you if he tries know. to hint, you, you, you don't know, know nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, lie yeah, to yeah, him. Yeah, you lie. You lie. Yeah, both You lie. lie. Mm-hmm. You lie, lie. If he asks you, so do you like, have you any idea like what's going on this month? Mm-hmm. You ask him what month it is, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. If he's about to get on his knee and says, uh, um, I'm just so nervous. You go, nervous for what? Mm-hmm. You don't know shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would even- I mean, this is up to you, but I would allow him to try and control whether or not you're going to look cute that night or not. Like, is he going to tell you to get your nails done? Is he going to tell you to get your hair done? Is he going like, to uh, help you out? I think it was Lauren Geraldo that um, had, she did the same manicure for months, like assuming that her proposal was going to happen within the next little bit. Mm. I think it, it, she did the same manicure months and months and months. I noticed that you, uh, you've been switching it up lately. Every oh, time. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I get what I want to get. Right. Yeah, 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 I get what yeah. I want to get. You, you don't think it's coming anytime soon? What? You don't think it's coming anytime soon? I'm not basing my manicure off of when I think it's gonna happen. Got it. When do you think it's gonna happen? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I should have done wait, a better- Wait, wait, stop. No, 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 mine's more important. Mine is more important. There's, there's an add on to this. Mine is more important. Once it is done, you are engaged. You've said yes, it was beautiful. He hires a photographer. You did not see the photographer until later. The photos look amazing. Mm -hmm. At some point in time that day, that weekend, that month, someone's gonna go, so like, did you know? You're gonna wanna say, I did, I just didn't wanna spoil it. You do not wanna say that. Yeah, you lie. You wanna it. say, I had no idea. I was so shocked. I was so surprised. Don't, yes, this is a lie you die with. Um, okay, so this one is asked, so this is literally asked so politely and so nice. Like if I could just have everything on the internet proposed to me in this um, energy and attitude, I, I this would be the easiest job ever. That'll be the new bot. It takes mean comments or any comment oh really. Oh my God, and just makes AI them and makes them like nice. Yeah, um, but then it'll be like some like kind of mean critique no, really, things will, with see, great grammar. Also when things like slip through, it's gonna be terrifying. Um, okay, sorry if this seems too offensive, Sorry if this seems too invasive, but does that black string bracelet that Jeremy wears have any sentimental value or meaning? P.S. loved your channel since forever and haven't missed an episode of the pod. Thank you for sharing your life with us. That's so nice. <laughs> it does. Uh huh. Well, I don't know when you got it for me, but it's been a while. Valentine's Day. It was Valentine's Day. Yeah. Little this little black string Cartier mm -hmm. that I don't know how Cartier did it or does it, but this little string. It is insane. That I've taken off maybe twice maybe mm -hmm. in the past years, mm -hmm. showered with me every time, worked out, well, I didn't work out, but I did all the things. It is as if I got it, what, like last week. It is crazy. And and like, they're like, oh yeah, if something happens to the string, just come back and replace it. We'll just replace it and it's fine. And I was like, oh man, I was like, we're gonna be back here every month. Cause it's a string bracelet. So God only knows how much you paid for this very small thing, but like this string, it's insane. Like seat belts should be made out of this. And also like there are some strings that are really waxy that are like more water repellent that feel gross. It's not. It's not. I it doesn't understand. tighten when you go in the water. Like when you shower with it, does it tighten no. after? No, it, like, but it's like adjustable on both sides, but it still works. The adjustable thing still works. It, it, it makes no sense. I, but I tell you that I have worked with so many different like stupid strings and threads and shit like that. And I, it is shocking. It's, yeah. It, it, it is one of the things like, cause money always does not, does not always buy quality, but that is one of the things where it's like this, the, the money goes into the string here. Yeah, like there are <laughs> diamonds in it. But, but the money in the string. In the string. In the yeah. string. And then I also have a little matching one. You do? Yeah, but a little matching one. So mine's got the little chain and the two interlocking little Cartier little No minis. one asked you about yours, they asked about mine. I just thought that it's sentimental. It's got meaning because we got matching ones. It is. I mean, like when I when I saw you got me like a Cartier jewelry and like the, I hadn't opened the box, I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pretend like this. And opened it up and I was like- Really? You thought that you weren't gonna like it? I mean, there are ve of all the choices you could have made, yeah. many of them, <gasps> I don't think I would have liked. I guess Cartier I doesn't have like a ton of like, like, you know, masculine things too. Like a lot of it's like love bracelets are obviously like gender neutral. But, but I was like, I'm not someone who's like- A jewelry guy. Yeah. So this is perfect. Just like you. He's trying to make up for the mean comments that he said earlier. I didn't say the mean comments. I remember those. <laughs> If I did, it was another version of me. <sighs> well, on that note. I can't wait for the genie to show up. <gasps> Mom DIY in next week's episode. <gasps> Get the Wild Till Nine hotline ready. The internet's favorite mom. No, you're not allowed to ask about engagement questions. You fucks. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, Wild Till Nine hotline is becoming open. Lafia. And uh, I Mom DIY. You, I know you got my back. Is ready. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Uh, we'll send out a premium version soon <laughs> or not. We'll see. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>